What's up guys, this is Brandon Smitley from EliteFTS.com bringing you another training log video with commentary. This is from Tuesday and my bench assistants work so mainly some speed bench um, and overhead pressing. Um, kind of falling behind again so just kind of bear with me as I catch up with these um, training logs. Um, I had speed bench up 120 pounds versus uh, the mini bands from 9 to 3 kind of playing with the grip again like I have been um, this is a new block taking some more sets since the weight is uh, down kind of get used to the bands um, build up some volume and work capacity um, I was really happy with the way this felt um, bar speed felt really good um, some good news that I have is that um, at least you'll be on my next training log I figured out how to I finally worked my push strength beta device. Um, I was selected as a beta tester and basically completely forgot all about it. But I'll talk about that more in the speed squat. But anyway, it's going to let me measure my bar speed now. How accurate is, I don't know. But um, the intention is next week on speed bench to use it to see how my velocity is on the bar. And that will let me track over time um, if my bar speed is getting faster with the same weights. Or if I'm getting, or if I'm staying the same speed by using more weight, which is the obvious goal. So um, next week that would be much more interesting. I'll give me something to talk about. I'll put up some new graphs and stuff. I'm doing some stats analysis on my squat now, um, which is why it's taking me a little bit to do these vlogs. I've been kind of doing multiple things at uh, one time. Um, but as you'll see with the speed bench, things look great. Technique look good. Um, really nothing's changing um, from the last block um, if you go back and look at the first block of training um, my very third day so it should be like week one day three um, it should be pretty much the exact same setup I went back and watched it and uh, my bar speed is faster so that's good um, things are getting stronger it's getting more explosive off the chest setup could be better um, so lots of good things to come from this. Um, the heat kind of was getting too much humidity. It's been really bad here in the Midwest lately. Um, so kind of been a little bit lenient on my rest time just to make sure I'm able to do what I need to do. Um, then I took the close grip two board. Um, and in block one, I think I hit 175 for five. And this time I hit 195 for 6. I was supposed to do 5, but I felt like I had another rep in me, or 2. Um, so I went ahead and just took the extra rep because it was in me. Um, and I was happy with that. So next week when I go to the um, for a heavy triple, uh, I should be looking well over 200 pounds on that, which is really good. Um, then moved into my overhead pressing. I only do this 2 weeks out of the block because it's not always the best thing on the shoulders. I have really good shoulders, but I still don't press my luck. Um, but I do find that it helps my bench. So I make sure I put it in at the beginning and I pull it as my weights get heavier as the block goes. Um, so this is 145 for four sets of eight, which is really good considering my best set of eight ever was 155. So to be able to rep um, 145 or four sets is uh, another really good sign. Um, considering I'm not training my overhead press weekly like I was whenever I hit the 155 for 8, I was literally overhead pressing every week. Um, I actually think I was running like a 5 for 1 tempo with it at the time. So, um, this is really nice and um, everything felt good with it too. Um, really didn't have any issues with it. Um, I consider myself a decent overhead presser, so um, to get it to move, even if it's five pounds for an extra rep or two, is fantastic. Um, and building my shoulder strength up helps my bench. So good things there. Um, and then, as you can see, in accessory work, kind of change stuff up, pausing some back work to address the issue with the squat. At the same time, I'll blame my back up for the bench and then triceps and. Uh, some flies. But that's really it. Thanks for checking in, and you can keep up my training log on elitefs.com.